tonight we were supposed to have Ed Tinker with us and I spoke to Ed yesterday and we were still in action and I know you're going to do it, you wanted to do it in the selectmen's report but since that is the major part of the agenda tonight um, Phil, you said you've got some news yeah, on that? Yeah, um, if you want to, I'll, I'll address that in my selectman's report if we are moving to, uh, um, oh, we're there now, number we're five. So the selectman's report, good evening, Madam Chair, uh, members, uh, in accordance with the April 21st, 2015, Board of Selectmen's agenda under Roman 5, report from the selectman's representative. Uh, I have replaced Selectman Woolsey uh, with the vote of Chairman Griffin, Selectman Waddell, and Selectman Bridal as this board's rep, the Selectman board's rep, as uh, Selectman Woolsey declined to continue service in her own right. Last year I served this board of the uh, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, and the board executed the Selectman's budget process to include warrants with department head development, production, town manager scrub approval, and the unanimous vote approval of the Board of Selectmen. We listened carefully to the department heads and town manager and arrived at the unanimous budget vote by the Board of Selectmen. The Budget Committee under Chairman Latter and Latimer listened to the same information and data from department heads and the town manager. At the 11th hour, the Chairman Latimer uh, motioned uh, and proposed the uh, slashing of that proposed budget um, that was forwarded by the Selectmen by the town manager and by department by some seven hundred thousand dollars. Planning board. Part pardon me, I have the floor. Town voters subsequently and dramatically reduced the size of the budget committee in support of a private citizen warrant by petition. In addition to the budget committee uh, reduction of that proposed budget uh, by the seven hundred thousand, town manager and department heads are now confronted with a five hundred thousand dollar snowstorm expense and challenge to their operating budget. Further, fire, police, public works are commanded by experienced new department head leadership and have just executed brilliantly in the harshest catastrophic weather in history. Summer surge operations planning have commenced. There's no rest period for department leadership or town employees as we advance into our summer surge and our summer operations. The town manager, Mr. Welch, has operational and administrative command of all departments except assessing and legal. Reporting to the Board of Selectmen, a report to the citizens of Hampton. Assessing and legal departments are under the operational and administrative control of the Board of Selectmen. Going forward, a very strong suggestion to this board and it passed muster with Selectman Griffin this morning and the town manager, Mr. Welch. Staff lines of communication, department leadership, efficiency, operational effectiveness, budget committee, situational awareness, transparency, and taxpayer interests will be served best by a format approved, again, both by the Chairman Griffin this morning and the Town Manager Welch this morning. Request by the Budget Committee for Information will simply administrate in writing through the Budget Chair, Latimer, to the Town Manager with a copy to Chairman Griffin and the Selectman's Representative for all Department Heads except Assessing and Legal. Similarly, Assessing and Legal Department written request for information from the Budget Committee will be made to Chairman Griffin, the Selectman's Representative, and a copy to the town manager through the budget committee chair, again, Chairman Latimer, for situational awareness. Thank you very much for your time. Good night. How can we submit information um, to you if you leave? One, one moment. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. <clears throat> good night, Phil of Bean. You Mr. know, I'm Bean. going to take... Phil of Bean, Excuse yeah. me, gentlemen. <laughs>